Hello friends, this video on Organic Chemistry Basics Part 49 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's use Zildal's method. So in this case, the compound is heat, uh, the compound which has nitrogen is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid, right? So with that, the nitrogen, whatever it has in this nitrogen, it gets converted to ammonium sulfate. So this is my flask. In this, I use my organic compound, right, with H2SO4. So what you get is ammonium sulfate. Now what you do, whatever you get here is, you, you put another flask, this is called the large trap, and you put sodium hydroxide. So whatever you have got here, output, right, you put in this. Correct? So this step is called digestion, actually. So after digestion, when you... Uh, react this compound with sulfuric acid concentrated you get this guy ammonium sulfate so whatever this process is called digestion and then you whatever output you have got is ammonium sulfate you react with sodium hydroxide it will give you Na2SO4 and ammonia so you have got ammonia now right so you have got ammonia so now this ammonia whatever you have got you can trap this actually in sulfuric acid correct this is called Zildar's trap here you trap this in sulfuric acid and then you can determine the volume of ammonia by titration so if you see the same thing in a, uh, in a different view actually there are four steps as I told the first is called degradation or digestion actually when you take the sample, you mix with sulfuric acid, it's concentrated, you get ammonium sulfate, right? So now whatever you have got in this, the next step is called you want to liberate ammonia. So you react this guy with sodium hydroxide here, right? You get ammonia. So let's suppose you got ammonia here. The next is you trap the ammonia in sulfuric acid. You got NH42SO4, right? This guy NH42SO4. So now whatever you have got, right? Now using titration, you can find the concentration of nitrogen. And if you see here in this case, in the decomposition state, right, we need catalyst. In this state, catalyst is required. So earlier mercuric oxide was used as catalyst, but it's very toxic. So it was not used and now titanium dioxide is approved as a good catalyst, right? And then you have this uh, catalyst and you have got this ammonia, sorry, you have got this ammonium uh, sulfate, then you got ammonia and then you got, you trap this ammonia in sulfuric acid, right? And then you can titrate with uh, maybe Na2CO3. There are so many things you can titrate with. You, you titrate and you get the concentration of nitrogen. Correct? And this was only used to find the protein content in the milk. But these are not very pull-through method because we have seen in uh, 2008 there was a China milk scam where uh, they use a melamine with the milk and melamine is a high protein content. So with that, with this test, it used to show that milk quality is very good. But it was not actually good quality of milk. Correct. So and this, if you see the process is very cumbersome. You have to, uh, this needs a huge sample, right? You have to, you know, first decompose it or degrade it. Then you have to get this ammonia. Uh, sorry, whatever you have got, you have to convert into another flask and then you have to mix with the NOH, get the ammonia, trap the ammonia and titration. Titration also is a long process. So, end of the day, it takes hours to find the concentration of nitrogen. Correct. So, they told this was used to find the concentration of protein in milk. Now, we will see some advantage and disadvantage of this method. So the first advantage is the cost is very low. Initial cost is very low. Large sample size you take, so it gives a better result. But they are disadvantaged. The first is the lengthy process. They take hours and they use toxic chemicals, right, as a catalyst. Now we'll take some numericals on this method. The question says, during estimation of nitrogen in the, by this Zedal method, the ammonia involved is 0.5 gram, right? And this guy is neutralized by 10 ml of H2SO4. We have to find the percentage of nitrogen in the compound. 
this is my reaction actually I have some organic compound so it gives it gave me ammonia now when this ammonia reacted with sulfuric acid you get this acid base reaction and it's neutralized actually so if you see the reaction I mean two moles of ammonia is required for one mole of sulfuric acid right because this gives NH4 to SO4 correct so from this reaction I can say that one mole of sulfuric acid requires two mole of ammonia how many moles of uh, sulfuric acid I had was 1 m into 10 so I had 10 ml into 1 m correct so that means for this I need at least 20 ml of 1 m correct so that means maybe if you keep the molarity constant so this will need 20 ml correct so I need 20 ml of 1 m ammonia to neutralize 10 ml m of uh, 1 m of sulfuric acid so that means this much volume of sulfuric acid is formed 20 ml of uh, sulfuric acid that is one where it is evolved in this reaction correct also I know that if you take 1000 milliliter of 1 m ammonia this is nothing but 14 grams of nitrogen correct this 1 liter of 1 m ammonia will give 14 grams of nitrogen so I have what 20 ml of 1 m so 20 ml of 1 m ammonia will give how many grams of nitrogen 14 by 1000 into 20 grams of nitrogen so I got the grams of nitrogen since I got the grams of nitrogen percentage of nitrogen is very easy whatever I have got here divided by total mass total mass of the organic compound is 0.5 0.5 into 100 so if you solve this you get 56 percent and that is my answer correct let's take one more example on this the question say a sample of 0.5 grams of organic compound so there was an organic compound divided here ORG compound it was treated according to the law method the ammonia was liberated as usual and this was absorbed in H2SO4 and that was 50 ml 0.5 m H2SO4 but some acid was left right and this acid required 60 ml of 0.5 m NMH for neutralization we have to find the percentage composition of nitrogen that means this whole sulfuric acid was not consumed the first challenge here is we have to find how much sulfuric acid was consumed so with that we can find how much ammonia was used correct and this reaction we already know so let me write the balanced reaction only correct so first let's find the amount of sulfuric acid right? so let's react my sulfuric acid with NOH so with that we'll find how much sulfuric acid was react to uh, required to react with this sodium hydroxide so the balance is something which is required to react with ammonia correct because this guy reacted with sodium hydroxide and ammonia so let's find the reaction with ammonia so the reaction with ammonia goes like this I have my sulfuric acid if I react with sodium hydroxide you get Na2SO4 and H2O. You do a balance, you get this is the reaction, balanced reaction. That means one mole of sulfuric acid need two mole of sodium hydroxide. Correct? So I have how many? How much 16 to 0.5? That is my 30, or I'll say 16 to 0.5 m, uh, m is nothing but 30 milliliter of 0.1 m. I'm just converting everything into 1 m actually. Right? So you take 60 ml of 0.5 m solution or 30 ml of 0.1 m, uh, uh, 30 ml of 1 m solution, both are same. That means I had 30 ml of ml of 1 m solution. Correct. So this will need how much? 
half of this correct because this is 30 ml so this two moles of nmh required one mole of h2so4 so this will be 15 ml of 1m solution is required to neutralize sodium hydroxide and how much we had we had 50 ml of 0.1m that is 25 ml of 1m both are same right so i had 25 ml of h2so4 15 ml is i had 25 ml of 1m h2so4 15 ml of 1m is used for uh with naoh so balance how much 25 minus 15 that is 20 ml of 1m is used for ammonia so with that i can find the volume of ammonia very easily correct because i know the reaction the reaction just now i wrote was ammonia plus sulfuric acid gives NH four two SO four, correct. So the balanced reaction is this. So for this, this much was twenty ml of one m. So if this guy is twenty ml of one m, one m, this is how much? Forty ml of one m. Sorry, total was twenty five. Fifteen is here. So it is ten actually. This was ten ml of H two SO four one m. So this is nothing but. 20 ml of 1m, correct ammonia. So with that I can find the uh, vol, the grams of ammonia because I know that again I know that 1000 ml of 1m ammonia will give you 14 grams of nitrogen, correct. So 20 ml of 1m will give you how much? 14 by 1000 into 20 grams of nitrogen. So you want to find percentage of nitrogen. You take this guy. Divide the whole thing with this amount of sample. Multiply with 100. You solve this, you get 56 percent, and that is my answer. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials. Study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.